have a Fukubukuro box to share with you guys. And for those of you who don't know what that is, it's basically just a Japanese lucky bag or a grab bag that Japan does for the New Year's. So we picked up one from jbox.com and this is their figure one, I believe, and it cost around $50 and they said it would at least have $70 worth of stuff inside, so it's completely random. We have no idea what's in here. I would be disappointed if there's something in there I don't like. Maybe there's gonna be a lot of stuff, but maybe it'll be good. I did get this box last year. I'm pretty sure it was the same size one, and I thought it was pretty good. I didn't actually film it because I was sort of getting really frustrated with a lot of grab bags and stuff we've been getting lately. They just weren't living up to it so I was like oh this one's probably not gonna be anything special and then I loved it and wish I filmed it for you guys but I did take an Instagram picture and shared it on there so if you're not following us on Instagram or Facebook we do share other things that don't always make it to video so you should check us out there but enough stalling let's see what is in our box and I lost the cutter so I have to use scissors watch out I like to live dangerously I almost cut my like finger off. So this is what it looks like when we first open it. It's um got a bunch of Japanese newspaper ads all no, inside. No, those are, those are car dealership like <laughs> listings. It's even better than Amiyami paper. <laughs> so the first thing inside the bag is just a paper bag. This is a Fukubukuro bag. I don't know if that's what it actually says on it or not, but if you were in Japan on New Year's Day, they have these all over the place, like all these different stores. There's even like donut stores that do Fukubukuro bags. So it's pretty crazy, but they come in just like hidden bags. Again, it's just like a grab bag. I'd want a donut grab bag. Oh my God. I just saw what's inside this box and I'm so excited. I'm, I'm excited, but we'll get to that last cause it's the big item. So the first item we have is a Japanese style fan. Let's see. It opened oh, up. So, ooh, it's Kronako. But it's just a regular Japanese paper fan. Here, you might need it more than I do because you're in a coat inside, you weirdo. But it's very cute, so I am happy with this item. Already starting the box off really well. So the next item has R2D2 on it. So it came with two of them, and I think they're just pouches. I'm not sure if anything in particular is supposed to fit inside. It's a giant coin purse. I think it might be more close to like a pencil case or something, but it's kind of padded. It could be a pair of zipper slippers. That's really weird. Like put them on your feet and like zip yourself in. You'd be snug and warm, except for like, this is kid sizes or people with like size four feet because I have pretty small feet and they're not going to fit. So last year I did get Star Wars items in it as well and I've seen some of the bigger boxes that were like over a hundred dollars also have Star Wars items. So I think it's just a staple with these boxes but that's okay because we love Star Wars so I'm okay with that. So next we have this really cute little plush of Shizuo from it's just so fun to say it like that but anyways he's really cute he's like hand size or at least my hand size is it my hand size no he's smaller than your hand but he's really like his hair is so soft and then he's just got a little like bungee strap there to hang on things but he's really cute so so far I'm not hating anything in this box so then we have a bunch of gachapons here and ooh, one's a little pokeball so I'm not sure gee I wonder what's in that one a pokemon it's a blue Pikachu <laughs> does he have pneumonia I don't know but it's just a little blue Pikachu so we'll just keep these gachapons going if I can get them open this one I think has fish in it Possibly like sushi. It is sushi, but I'm not sure. That is definitely tuna. I don't know how this works. It's just all broken. Well, it's, it's not broken. It's... You have to put it together. But it's, I, I don't know. 
This is complicated, guys. I'm, I, th I think I'm done with this one for right now. I'm gonna play with it later when I'm not wasting film. Film. <laughs> like we're still using film. This one doesn't have tape. Yes. Ooh, it's a saber from the Fate series. So this is actually pretty cute. Yeah. She's just a little cell phone strap and she comes with her little sword. I almost spoiled it for those who don't know. So that one was cute. Now I have a bag of them because there's more. Oh my gosh, I think they're psychopaths, little gachapons. So they're little ball chained figures. I think they're all the same because they came bagged together and they're similar. Oh yeah, they definitely are because it says psychopath. But yeah, I'll do a close up of all of these. I won't open them all right now, but I will show you guys and insert it so when I'm talking now, you can actually see them. So then we get a little blind box and it's from Yatsuba. And exclamation point. Not sure, but it looks like it has different poses like climb, push, sit, draw. So I'm not sure exactly what this is from, like other than Yatsuba, but I don't know what that is. I want the one that's drawing or climbing. Why? Because I think it's really cute. Well, you're prepared to be disappointed. Yeah, I don't even know <laughs> what this one's doing. It's what? Oh, oh, this is the climb one. It is. So I did get the one I wanted. Sweet. I love her little face too. She's just like, oh, I'm falling. Yeah. Okay. Moving. On. I was ready for disappointment. <laughs> I was prepared for it. Moving on. The last two items in here are actually pretty big. So this one, Dan is going to be really excited about. Holy shit, it's a Haro. Oh, there's actually something else. So I lied. There's three more things. But what is this? Is it's a Haro. It... Right. But like, look, it like, I don't know. Give how me this. Right? I'll look at this. Okay, it... okay, okay, okay. Sh shut up. The <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> I can't read. Well, it like opens up and there's like some sort of game. It kind of reminds me of like Tamagotchi graphics. I'm not sure, but let's open them up right now. Careful. He's like, must preserve packaging. It's like one of those scanning games. Oh, he's kind of heavy too. Yeah, it's because it's a thingy. But look, 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 look. You, you, scan, you scan stuff. What? Oh my God. That's cute. I have to say that out of all the Gundam things we possibly could have gotten, this is probably the most awesomest because I don't really care about the Gundams, I don't care about the Zakus, I really don't care about the people characters. <laughs> but Haro is just adorable. That's like the only thing that I enjoyed <laughs> when watching the original series. I'm like, that's so cute. But this is really cute. He opens up to be like this little scan game thing. I don't know. The box shows like scanning these little Gundam figures inside. So I don't know if we can actually do anything with this because we don't have any of those little Gundam figures. Even a stand. There's a stand? What the hell is that great disc? Oh, <laughs> there's a stand. Yay. I don't know why because he's flat on the bottom. So I don't know why you need this. Ta -da! Don't drop him. <laughs> God. But even without the other pieces, I still think this is really cool, especially if you're a Gundam fan because you can just display him exactly like this and nobody has to know that he opens up to this really cool like game feature, but it's a nice display piece. So I'm actually really excited for this, even though I'm not a Gundam fan. So for the second to last item here that I didn't see at first, it is some sort of my neighbor Totoro item. So I love Totoro. And I'm really excited to see exactly what this is because I don't know what it is. It looks like a microfiber cloth. It's well, the Totoro part is soft, but this other thing. Oh, okay. It's like a little. It's like this part is a book cover, and then it actually comes with like a planner. A planner inside, and then when the planner's like all done, because you know it has a calendar for a previous year, or you've scribbled all in it or whatever. This can come off, and if you have another book of this size, you can use it as a cover. So that's really cute. This box is awesome. And now for the final item, just like last year, it came with a prize figure. If you buy the more expensive one, you actually get, I think, a regular scale figure. So depending on what you want and what you can afford, the more expensive ones 
weren't on sale when I picked this up. They were all gone. They went fast. But I'm really excited for this prize figure because it was actually one that I was really tempted to pick up. And it's from the Sonico like fairy tale line, but it's the mermaid Sonico figure, and I'm just so excited. This is the thing that I was squealing about when we first opened it up, and I saw what was inside, and this is just really cool. I am really happy with this. So this poses a very obvious question that I will give to you, the viewer: How would mermaids like? do it <laughs> I kind of figured you were going there and I'm like no he's not gonna do that on YouTube and then he went there but like there there is like like fish that's how I would think they would like then fish. that's not exciting he, well whoever said they, it would they, be exciting men fantasize about mermaids for whatever reason I just think they're really cool like mythical creatures and they're very beautiful and I, I just think they're really cool I wouldn't want to do one, unlike some people here who's imagining himself with Sonico right now, but this is what? a really cool figure. <laughs> hey, I just posed, I just asked a very philosophical question but, that needs to be answered. But that is the J-Box $50 figure-ish. I don't know if that's the exact same title, but that's their $50 Fukubukuro box, which... I totally think is worth it. Totally getting one of these next year. If we have the money. No, just totally. Saving the $50 or $100 or whatever right now. Putting aside, getting one of these next year. No, because that could definitely be used better in like, you know, a long-term, you know, investment. Like you could put into like a bond or... He's so boring. Anyways, we got sidetracked again. What did you guys think of this box? Did you pick up any of J-Box's Fukubukuro boxes? And if so, what did you guys get? And also, if you guys got any different Fukubukuro boxes, I want to know like where you got them and what you think. Like if you found a really awesome one, then I might look into getting it next year. And of course, we'll share with you guys and all of that. But Maybe we could do tradesies. I don't want to trade anything in here. <laughs> I don't want to trade. No tradesies. No tradesies. So I hope you guys all enjoyed. And again, Happy New Year. Bye. I'm coming for you. Why are we coming for them?